Hi everyone. Do you love boats? Do you love fails? If you do, then you've come to the right place. Today, we're going to show you people getting drunk on deck and tumbling over the edge, boats crashing into each other, ships on fire, and luxury cruisers stuck under bridges. Stick around till the end. You're gonna see just how dumb people in boats can be. We're so glad. <laughs> How about sailing a small boat into a huge wave? Sounds like fun, doesn't it? But it's not. Not only does he lose his shoes, but he almost loses six of his passengers as well. Well, at least he didn't capsize the boat, right? This lady is imagining she's Kate Winslet in the Titanic. Even the boat agrees that she doesn't look the part. Her own brother had enough of her and hit the brake. You can choose your friends, but not your family. This man failed at loading up his boat so badly that his poor dog had to come and save him. Didn't last too long, did it? It must feel great to own a fancy yacht like that. But look, money can't buy you everything. Not even brains. He just missed his step. Oh, he got his Gucci's wet. For a second, I thought a shark had got him instead. Oh! 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 Someone is sinking their boat in nine feet of water. Honestly, that person doesn't deserve to have a boat if he treats it like that. Come on! Ah, oh, looks like it was a nice boat. You would expect the captain of a yacht to be super experienced, right? Well, this captain must have fallen asleep because he just messed up really badly. Next time, he could just set the whole thing on fire instead. This is not the right way to destroy a yacht, is it? Don't know what's worse, chopping down all those poor trees or dumping them all into the sea because you didn't pack them properly. Oops. It's probably a good idea to untie your ship before you start sailing away. Don't you agree? The usual laws of physics apply. Apparently this lady has been partying a little too hard. And well, this might not be the right time to climb all over the deck. But nothing is going to stop her from plunging headfirst into the ice cold water. Some people will do anything for attention. Ah, this couple is so romantic. Isn't that just the perfect spot to propose? Well, it's clearly not meant to be. Now that's a proposal to remember. Or maybe not. These guys hit something with their boat, but they don't seem to care too much about their boat sinking. They're just smiling. Too late to get insurance, but what can you do? Better luck next time. Oh, no, no. This sunburned gentleman is trying to go down the slide, but he's standing up. You know this isn't going to end well. At least he's bouncy. Oh. <laughs> Well, here's a real-life Titanic experience for you. The boat is sinking, and what is our hero doing to save the day? Maybe a cup of coffee will clear his mind. Next, we have a man who tries something incredibly clever, jumping off a boat onto a jet ski. Well, that was the idea at least. <laughs> Just when you're having the time of your life, there is always that one friend that has to ruin the fun. Bet you didn't see that one coming. Is it just me or some people just shouldn't be on boats? This girl thinks she's incredibly cute. She's leaning back on the railing and ends up in the water. Luckily, she didn't get hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes sailors have bad timing. This is exactly such an occasion. He just had to crash into another boat, and a bigger one too. This little sailing boat will never be the same again. Just looking at this makes you wonder if there's any hope for humanity. Well, at least he swam off without any injuries whatsoever. Check out this $35 million yacht crashing its top deck against a bridge. The captain must be regretting his career choice right now. Hopefully his boss is in a good mood today, although I doubt that. Oh no. Oh no. Deep 
sea fishing can be fun. However, when you become the prey, it's a lot less fun. They say broken glass brings good luck, right? Well, let's hope these ladies have some better luck next time. Yeah, no. oh oh. You know what they say, don't go near water if you've had too much to drink. Yes, that means canoes too. This guy clearly didn't get the memo. Uh. <laughs> have you ever seen a boat that can fly? Here's one. Everyone is impressed. Are you? Not sure if a boat is supposed to be doing that, but it does look cool. This man is losing his mind. The boat in front of them is going too fast, causing massive waves. I wouldn't be able to keep it together either, especially when I'm about to be thrown into the cold water. There are some big waves here. Most boats would struggle. Just as you think this boat is about to make it out alive, it doesn't. Here comes a huge wave that takes the boat down as it's turning around. Suddenly, capsizing a boat doesn't seem all that hard. Whoops! Whoever was operating the forklift didn't do their job properly. Hopefully they have insurance and another job lined up. He's trying to show off to his friends how fast he can pull away. He hasn't just embarrassed himself, but he also caused thousands of dollars in damage. That's what you get for trying to be the best at the wrong time. <laughs> just when you think you have mastered the skill of driving, your boat like you would ride a bull. Karma comes around and humbles you in a few seconds. Better luck next time, pal. <laughs> This guy is trying to throw his fishing net out of the boat, but ends up throwing himself in the sea. I guess they caught something that day. <laughs> it isn't easy getting off a boat, but this woman takes it to a whole new level. She's got herself stuck to the side of the boat. Her husband is desperately trying to free her. Finally, he gets her out, but the couple is not too happy that they are being filmed. We are, though. <laughs> <laughs> right when you're about to experiment with your home-built ATV to boat conversion, Mother Nature is there to humble you. The idea sounded fun, though. Hopefully these people didn't have breakfast before going on this boat ride. Bouncy, isn't it? If they only got the timing right. Another example of why boats and alcohol are a bad combination. Luckily, it was summer and the water wasn't very cold. Brush it off and have a laugh. So <laughs> well, I don't know much about boats, but what I do know is that a hammer usually isn't used to fix things up. Clearly, it did the opposite this time. Whoops. <laughs> Sometimes you get lucky, and sometimes you don't. Safe to say this man had a fresh and cold start to his day. <laughs> right when you think it can't get any worse, it does. Let's hope this isn't an average day for this unlucky crane operator. And wham! There goes tens of millions of dollars straight down the drain. If you think you've had a bad day, think twice. Let's be honest, some people would be better off not owning a boat whatsoever. Good luck trying to retrieve that. Jumping off boats into the water can be fun at times, but not if you face plant the sea. Ouch. This guy decides to let the boat steer by itself so he can join his friends wakeboarding. As he jumps into the water, the unexpected happens. Or more like expected. How could his plan possibly work? Driving a boat requires a key to start the engine, but what happens when you forget the key? You're stuck. This guy will have to swim back to get the key. Glad I'm not him. <laughs> <That's the best. laughs> you are three Marines sinking with their ship. It's over, guys. Let it go. You wouldn't want to be on their team, would you? Whoa! What 
on earth is making that horrible noise? No boat should sound like that, right? Let's take it for a test drive because it sure can't sail on the water. This time, this adventurous guy wants to show off his driving skills to his friends. But before he gets the chance, he loses his footing. These girls are having a relaxing day on a boat until a big splash manages to ruin their hair and their day. Something tells me that this is not the right way to tie up your boat, but it is a good method of breaking your car. I've done something so dumb in my life. Oh! Next up is a woman trying to get off her boat, but her timing is completely off. She ends up getting stuck and it won't be easy getting her off the boat. I wish she would stop hanging around. Oh, I got this. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Maybe you had one beer too many. The saying goes, don't drink and drive. But wait, losing the motor calls for what? Another beer. Yeah, fuck. Let's be honest here. Proposing on a boat might seem like a romantic gesture at the time, but your chances of failure are extremely high. Look what happens to this poor couple. Let that be a lesson to you. But don't worry, he finds the ring in the end. Go, go, go. In the crib, mom. Drop it. Fishing from a boat isn't easy. This couple is showing us just exactly how hard that can be. Losing your fishing rod is the worst thing that can happen, and that's exactly what does happen. Are you okay? What happens when you use a pontoon as a speedboat? This. It turns into a submarine. What a way to cool off. Check out this boat, guys. Do you think the owner is doing this to get insurance money? Or did he just not care about the boat? Think it's worth falling into the water for a 12 inch fish? Man, this guy must have been hungry. Oh. Who wants to go on a grassy boat ride? Now, this is not something you see every day. Why is he even doing that? Is he trying to destroy his boat? <laughs> this guy has a creative idea for getting his raft into the water and getting into it himself. Pretty sure that's not the right way to do it. Let's see what happens next. Here's another group of friends getting up to no good. This guy thinks it's a good idea to cross over from one boat to another. See what happens? What a waste of drinks. Now his friends are covered in beer. In the morning, way ahead. 